Hi, my name is Vary McFarlane and I'm the Director of Science and Stewardship for the Ontario Region at the Nature Conservancy of Canada. Um, my job involves overseeing a lot of the really cool work that we're doing across the landscape of Ontario, um, restoring ecosystems, removing non-native invasive plants and planting native wildflowers, shrubs, trees, grasses, and watching wildlife pour back into these sites once we've restored them. So I realized that some of these beautiful plants that we're planting on our, our nature as our properties are plants that grow really nicely in gardens as well. So I took a look at my own garden and realized that there were not really very many plants there at all. And most of those plants were actually not native to North America. Native plants are incredibly important because they support a lot more wildlife than non-native plants that are typical in many of our gardens. So growing native plants at home in your own garden, on your balcony, in a pot even, can be a really great way for you to contribute to supporting wildlife and supporting healthy ecosystems that benefit both wildlife and people. There's many, many beautiful native plants that you can choose from. Many are available from all sorts of retail outlets, increasingly so in Ontario these days. A native plant garden can be just as manicured as a non-native plant garden. You can maintain plants as separate little units of plants. You can kind of trim them back and keep them under control. There's native plants that are very small, very short growing. There's some that are really tall and big. So whatever situation you have and whatever look that you want, there's almost certainly going to be a native plant that will actually do what you need it to do. Native plants are perfect for that as well. You can ignore them and they'll produce lovely flowers and nice leaves and support pollinators and all sorts of cool wildlife without you intervening at all. There's, there's a really is a plant for every situation, whether you have a, a really hot, dry, sandy patch or a, a darker, shady, damp spot under a tree, there's going to be a native plant that will be really, really happy if you put it there and it will produce flowers and, and be quite happy once you leave it alone. Really, any time that you're thinking about it is a good time to be making plans, working out what you want to achieve, what your goals might be. Just be aware that in really early spring, when the temperatures are still quite low, then there may be lots of really beneficial insects hanging out in leaf litter or in cocoons just under the surface of the soil. So it's a great idea to kind of leave things be for the first few weeks of spring and um, try not to do too much tidying up until temperatures are kind of consistently above about 10 degrees Celsius and, and insects have had the chance to, to emerge and go about their business before they get tidied up. So now that you've planted hopefully quite a few native plants in your garden, you can sit back and enjoy what they give you. They can enjoy their flowers and their, their leaves and start looking at some of the cool wildlife that starts visiting them.